just to summarize, this amplifier is fully plug and play. No new uh, ground or any new connections have to be made. You just have to plug it in, mount it, secure it either with zip ties or the four mounting screws that are provided with the amplifier, and you can start your enjoying your music right away. The amplifier is tuned um, according to your selections when you add it to your cart, and this can work with the factory speakers or aftermarket speakers. We do recommend you upgrade your subwoofer if you're gonna do the amplifier, but as long as you keep your subwoofer level moderate, you won't blow the factory sub, but be careful, this can easily blow that factory subwoofer. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Acura Audio Garage. Today we're talking about our plug and play amplifier for the Acura TL. So this is the factory amplifier in the Acura TL. You can see here is the primary speaker connections, and then this are the inputs from the radio. So this amplifier powers all the speakers in your TL. That includes your front two tweeters, your dash speaker, your door speakers on your front doors, your rear deck speakers, and your subwoofer is all powered by this little one amplifier here. So one of our best sellers here at Acura Audio Garage is our plug and play five channel amp for the TL. So this amp replaces this amp. It installs in the same locations. You can see they have a very similar overall footprint. If you, are looking to see how this gets installed stick around to the end of the video i'll show you i also have another amplifier i want to show you so make sure you stick around so just like the factory amplifier this amplifier requires no new power lines or ground lines basically here are the two connectors that you're going to plug in they match the ones on the amplifier so you'll disconnect this unmounted it has three bolts then you'll plug this amplifier these connectors for the amplifier at the vehicle so disconnect this plug them into here and then you have these connectors that means must be plugged into the amp so you have your primary power connector gets plugged in here then we have our primary speaker connection so these are all your door speakers then we have our subwoofer connection and then lastly on this side we have the connection for the optional bass knob. So this will allow you to control the bass level of the subwoofer on the fly. So you can mount this in your dashboard, but this connects to the amplifier right here. Then for the input, we have the RCA side. We have the RCAs that plug into here. So now they're nice and set. We sent the channel, We. <laughs> We set the amplifier before we ship it to you, so we'll set the levels, the low pass filter, the boost, the crossovers. Everything's set according to your instructions, so you can use this on the factory radio or any aftermarket radio, including the Tesla screen. When replacing your factory amplifier for our plug and play amplifier, you will lose the center channel. So the center channel audio will no longer work, your navigation will work but you will have no navigation prompts, no center channel audio. So just remember that. These will keep all of your door speakers and your subwoofer. This amplifier is rated at four ohms, 40 by four times, and then the subwoofer is one times 100. And then at two ohms, it's 80 by four, and the subwoofer is at 200 by one. So it's a good power increase. You get nice, clearer, louder sound and better bass response. Uh, from your subwoofer. This isn't gonna shake the block. This isn't going to uh, make you deaf. It's just a nice upgrade, plug and play, especially if your factory amplifier has gone bad. This is a good investment. You get all your sound back, uh, plug and play. You just have to mount it. So I'm gonna get ready to show you how to install this in the car. But before I do, I'm gonna show you uh, the next amplifier we have lined up. Before I continue, I just want to let you know, we get this question a lot. This harness is not available to purchase just the harness. The harness is made with harnesses that come with the amplifier. So we can't just make them and sell them. We need, part, we need the amplifier to make the harness. We are working on a solution so we can make you a plug and play harness for your amp. But currently we only sell the harness with the amp because the amp brings the harnesses necessary to create it. This is MB Core amp. It's the NA2 500.5. It's a great solid amp. It's All right, if, you're, if you want louder sound, you want to blow your ears off, um, this is our next uh, series in our plug and play amp. So here's the five channel. This is a six channel. This allows you to keep all your factory speakers and it's going to have an output of 60 by six. 
So this is going to increase the overall volume of your car significantly. It will hurt your ears, you will feel it. This isn't gonna create earth shattering bass because this is meant to play six channels of voice. So this is a great option for someone who wants to change that rear subwoofer to a voice speaker and run aftermarket subs. The installation is real simple. You're gonna also get a plug and play harness just like the one here. The only difference is here you will have to run additional power and ground lines. So you will have to run a dedicated power line to your battery and a dedicated ground line somewhere where you're gonna install this amp. We recommend this installing this amp um, below the passenger seat if it's perfectly there and the harnessing, the harnesses are all set up to allow you to install the amplifier in that location. All these settings are preset for you depending on your selections at checkout. So if you're thinking the five channel amp isn't enough power or you don't wanna lose your center speaker, then you can always look at the six channel amp. Uh, this is an MB core amp as well, solid amp, works uh, really good, sounds really good. If you're watching this video and you don't have an Acura TL, but you're wondering if there's a plug and play amplifier for your car, uh, if you have an Acura or a Honda with the uh, upgraded audio system, know we are working on something for your car. We have this DS18 amp we've been testing. We have the traditional four channel amp if you're looking for the four channel. We also introduced this new Pioneer four channel. Uh, we have the JBL four channel amp. So we do have different amps available. We just haven't had the chance to test them in the vehicles that we have designed them for. So without testing, we won't release the product. If you're open to be a beta tester, feel free to leave a comment down in the description and we can set something up. All right guys, to install the plug and play amplifier, you're gonna need either a ratchet or a 10 millimeter uh, wrench. I recommend, I recommend a ratchet with a extension and then another extension with a swivel uh, edge at the top. Basically, the swivel will allow you to get at a certain angle and this is really helpful so you don't have to remove a lot of panels. So after you get your ratchet, your sockets, I'll show you how to get it out of the car. Right, so the first step to uh, getting the factory amplifier out is you're gonna pull back the weather stripping. So you just need to free that corner up. Once the weather stripping is pulled back, you can reach your hands to the back of the panel and pull it towards you. There's one clip that needs to release. Once it releases, the panel should come off very freely. The next step is to disconnect the connectors from the amp. But before you do that, you'll notice that our, our amp looks a little different than the one that might be in your car. There's a black casing on your amplifier that houses those wires that you can clearly see on ours. Those wires, that black casing, you can just break it off, pinch it off however you want. It has tape around it. You don't need it, so you just need to remove it and you then will have what we have after you remove that casing. Now we're gonna unplug the factory amplifier. To unplug the amplifier, there's two uh, tabs at the top of each connector. You're just gonna press down on the tab and pull down. It's tough, it's a tight spot, but it can be done. So that one's out, and now we're gonna get the other one out. So here are the tabs we were talking about. That one's right at the top there, and then the black one is at the top also. Once those are free, you can swing your harness out of the way, and we have three bolts we need to disconnect on the amplifier. So two are down low, and one is up top. As you can see, our amplifier is missing one screw down there, but don't worry, it's two screws you have to remove up there, down there, and then one up here. I'm gonna try to get you the best angle that I can on that screw. So there it is up there. That screw doesn't need to come out, it just needs to be loosened. If you're looking, looking at the car, it's right here. So right behind the dash, I mean right behind the glove box. So you can pull the glove box or to save, your, save yourself some time, like I was saying before, if you have the swivel socket, you can maneuver yourself right to the top of the socket, I mean of the bolt and loosen it. So. Try to get me back in there. So there you can see my socket is on the bolt now. And I can loosen the bolt enough to slide my amplifier out. So once that bolt is loose, we can loosen our other two bolts. And get our amplifier out of here. 
So to get the amplifier, you have all the bolts out. You're gonna put your hand towards the top, push the top out, go ahead. Okay, that should loosen it and now you'll be able to pull the amplifier free. So now that the factory amplifier is out, we're gonna grab our plug and play amplifier, test our amplifier real quick. So we'll plug it in to test it. So it's the same connectors as it was before. As before, so we'll plug in our black connector first. Yep. And then we'll plug in our gray connector. You wanna make sure you hear that click. That ensures that they're seated properly and that they're making good contact. So there's a click on that one. So now we're just gonna power the amplifier on quickly and make sure it's working. Yep. All right guys, we tested our amp. Now we're ready to mount it. To mount it, you're gonna take the two, two screws from the factory amp, you're gonna install them about halfway threaded in, and then we're gonna slide our amplifier's edge right here, this edge, over the screws. So there's plenty of space up and behind the um, glove box. So the harnesses should fit up there no problem. So now you're gonna come back down, slide the lip, of the amplifier over the two bolts, just like that. Just make sure you get it onto the two bolts. So once it's over both bolts, you tighten both bolts down and that'll hold the amplifier in place. So now we have the amplifier mounted. Now we're just gonna secure our wiring. We're just gonna use zip ties to hide our wiring to allow the factory plan to go back into place without any problems. There's plenty of space up behind the glove box for you to stick the harnesses into. So just be careful as you're putting them away, make sure you're zip tying them neatly, but there's plenty of space up there to fit everything that you need. Our amp, all right, so our amp is now mounted, zip tied in place. Um, if you're a little worried about the mounting mechanism, this amplifier is meant to go in motorsports and marine applications. So it's meant to uh, be moved so and jumps things like that so you don't have to worry this um mounting is very diy friendly you can just screw it down with self tappers if you'd rather uh, but we find this works fine this is what we use for installations now we're just going to put our panels back this panel no longer needs that blue clip so we're just going to remove it it is also going to make the panel stick out a little further you'll see what i mean in the end so you want to make sure you really snap it in place and that that rubber gasket sealing for the door is onto the panel to make sure it holds it in place that edge needs to be grabbed by the rubber gasket so that it holds the panel in place now our panel is back in place and you can see you can't tell that the amplifier is there it's nice and secure and you can start enjoying it. Unplug it, guy. Yo, this guy's taking the the, pe the plastic piece. Oh, I just throw it up in here. Then. Over here, right? 